Hi, my name is Tim Uckert, and then today we're going to be designing a website. I'm going to be designing, redesigning Uckert Math uh, with a renewed focus uh, for my students. So let's start. All right, I've opened a new file, and I'm using a text editor called Notepad++, which is available for Windows only, um, but you can use many text editors for um, Mac as well that are very good, like Brackets and Atom. Uh, and Visual Studio Code, um, along with many others. Um, all right, so anyways, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I create a folder, Uncert Math. We'll be doing, we'll be working off of there for right now, right there, and I'm going to save this as index.html. All right, so I'm going to write up a nice little file. So we're going to start by declaring the doc type, and that's an HTML. Let's, you do this in HTML5, and then I want the HTML to come next, and then the head of the file to come next. I'm going to tab in, and then I'm going to start with some of the metas, meta description, uh, meta viewport. Uh, so let's start with meta name equals viewport first. And that's going to help me to mobile optimize my site. And the content associated with that is going to be width equals device dash width, uh, comma initial scale equals 1.0. We're going to close that out. And that's going to help this page to um, look good uh, on a mobile phone, okay, um, along with some other things, some of the CSS and various whatnot, and then meta name equals description, and the content is going to be uh, a math website designed to help uh, math students uh, travel into the future of math. I'm probably going to work on that one a little bit uh, you know, to come up with a better description than that. Okay, so I'm going to tag down a little bit, and then uh, what I'm doing here with the um, left arrow, uh, semicolon, and then two dashes, I'm making a comment in HTML, and that allows me to kind of know what this part of the file is. And so this part of the file is going to be linking in the style sheets, which I haven't created yet, but I will create. So uh, first one is going to be um, uh, link relation equals style sheet um, type is going to be text slash uh, slash CSS and then the link is going to be uh, in a folder called CSS slash style and the file name style dot CSS. Okay. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to add some more style sheets, as you see later on, but those are the basic. Uh, now I'm going to start with the title tag, and this is going to be the home page on UnkertMath.com. And, you know, I like to do uh, my websites uh, in HTML or PHP or Ritmail code. Um, it really helps me to kind of build my website the way I want it to be. Um, and I don't need a database. I don't, it runs faster. All right. So and it's fun. Fun to build websites. Have fun with it. I mean, you know, my websites aren't going to get enough traffic where I'm going to be having a lot of people. Although with HTML, um, those that would actually be helpful to have a, a site that um, that was uh, that was an HTML because it um, on a particular server it will. Um, consume less resources than one that's using PHP, my SQL uh, uh, database and that kind of stuff, I'm pulling stuff from the database and then rendering it as HTML. Straight HTML, it's going to run faster. Um, okay, anyways, so now I'm going to have the body. Uh, and within the body, I'm going to start with a header and close out the header here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to copy some code from the internet. So I'm just going to Google uh, mobile uh, mobile um, menu code, and let's see what I got. And then I've got the second thing that pops up is how to how to, and this is a uh, w3schools.com, and it gives you um, some code uh, as an example, and you can modify it 
to meet your needs. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to paste it in. Uh, I want to tab this so it, you know, it's nicely tabbed, nicely organized. You don't need to tab the HTML. I like to do it just because it makes it look um, better. And, uh, you know, that way um, it keeps it organized nicely. Now, all right. Now, with a lot, uh, when you have a lot of pages on a site, you may want to have um, either JavaScript or change this file to a PHP and do the include function in PHP to drag in the header. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to that point. It's easy enough to switch over. I'm going to build this site off site. I'm building it in the text editor, and then I'll upload it to my server later. Uh, and we can talk about that in subsequent videos. Um, this is going to be part one. Part one is going to end. Uh, when I get done cooking my pizza, which is in the oven, which has about 11 more minutes. So, all right. Anyway, so we better get cracking with this website. All right. So we've got this. Uh, we'll just keep it as is. We're going to change up some of these, these things in here. Uh, and then we're going to start with um, uh, another, uh, we'll call it a div section. And we'll call it div class. Um, it's going to be a side dash left. Uh, and we'll use that for our CSS. And then in that div class, we'll put a header three. Um, let's let's put most recent articles. And this will give you an idea of how to, um, and we'll close out the div, how to build your site. Okay. Then we're going to have the main section. Um, and we'll put... Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll have a. This will be a beginning of, a, of an article summarizing um, semester one. And we might have a blog about that. And then uh, this is a short description of semester one. Okay. So we're going to close that out. All right. Okay. We'll close out that there. And then um, after that, we're going to have, this is going to be the right aside. And we're going to have um, probably, we'll probably place an ad here. Okay. And we'll have some other stuff like archives and whatnot. Uh, okay, we'll put maybe um, do a header four, uh, maybe some archives here. We're just building our template. All right. Okay. The side's going to close out. And then next, we're going to have a footer. And in the footer, we're going to have just something simple. Log paragraph with center aligned. It's going to say copyright. Um, and we'll do the copy. That's uh, gives you the copy symbol 2018 to 2019, unkertmath.com. Um, Close that paragraph tag and then close off the footer for now. And then within the footer, we may do some separate divs where we have uh, some other stuff and some background. Uh, in fact, why don't, why don't we do that? We'll do uh, uh, do div class equals uh, left footer. Okay, and uh, put something. We'll go here. Okay, and then close out that div, and then we'll do another one, div class equals center footer, okay, and then something will go in the center, center here, and we'll close that out, and then uh, div class equals right footer, uh, and then We'll have something on the right, okay, and then close that out, okay, and then actually we'll have div class equals bottom footer. Ah, uh, no, we'll just do copyright, copyright, and then we'll actually tab that in, keep it nice and organized, close out this div. All right, so our footer is pretty complex. Maybe we'll make our side somewhat complex. We'll see. 
don't think we need to do that now, so I'm going to hit Control S to save that. And I'm going to put that down, put that down, and then we're going to go to Unkert Math. Click on here, and we will let's open this with Google Chrome to see what we got so far. So you see, it doesn't look that great so far. We don't have anything aligned. I want to align it in the center. So what I want to do, go back here, is now I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to go back to my folder. Hold on one sec. I'm going to create a folder called, whoops, rename that. Not CSSS, just CSS, okay? And then I'm going to create a new file, and we're going to save that file as style.css, okay? And we're going to start with the body, and we'll say the max width of the body is going to be 1,000 pixels. Uh, we're going to have no float. Uh, and the margin is going to be auto, and that should center it. Close that out, and hit save, and then we'll go back to our browser here. Let's see. And that moves it more to the center. Okay, that's nice. Um, now, one thing I think I want to do is I want to align. Let's try and do this. Align my uh, menu. So... Okay, I'm going to turn these over. And I may not do this. I may switch it because I am borrowing code, so this may conflict a little bit. But okay, let's see. That, doesn't mean... that brings it to the center. That's nice. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, now let's sort some stuff out with the, the various um, parts. So. Uh, Enter is going to be the width, going to be 100%. Um, then we're going to do a display of an inline block. Okay. All right. Um, and then next, we'll have dot, the dot aside left. Okay. All right. And I'm thinking visually. Uh, so the width on that's going to be 30%. Float is going to be left. And display is going to be a block. And for right now, I'll make the minimum height so that they all kind of line up at 300 pixels. And we'll close that out. Now we're going to do the main. Uh, there, the width is going to be, uh, let's say, 33%. Make it a little bit wider. Float also left. Display block. And then minimal height is also 300 pix pixels. Okay. And then we're going to do the, this is going to be the right sidebar. The width is going to be 30%. Float is going to be right. Uh, display is going to be a block. And the minimum height is going to be also 300 pixels. Okay. I'm going to hit control save. And then we'll refresh and see how that... Okay, so now that kind of works it out, but the footer is jamming in there. Not so nice. Okay, so next, footer. We're going to say the width is 100%. The display is an inline block. And close that out. Let's see if that takes care of the problem. Okay, so that does take care of the problem. Now we have to work these out. All right. So, uh, what did I call those? I was talking about footer, left footer, center footer, and right footer. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll start with uh, left dot left dash footer. Okay. The width on that's going to be thirty percent. Uh, float is going to be left. Uh, display going to be block. And we'll say the min height is going to be 200 pixels. Okay. And then we'll do uh, middle footer. No. I can spell. Uh, width is going to be 30%. Let's do all 33% on these, actually. Uh, float 
that. Display block uh, minimum height going to be 200 pixels. Okay, and then right footer is going to be the width is going to be 33%. Float is going to be right. Display is going to be block, and the minimum height is going to be 200 pixels. Close that out. Let's save. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, and then we've got to do. So you see here the copyright um, doesn't line right, no. and I have to have center footer. So it's not even. Okay, so we got to fix that. Think it's gonna fix anything necessarily, but we'll see. Okay, so it does actually fix something, um, but we still want to have we to have the copyright. So dot copyright. Right, gonna be um, with it's gonna be one hundred percent display the inline block. All right, so we're starting to line up our website. Uh, we don't have it perfect just yet. Uh, there's a couple things we need to play with, um, but this is going to end in part one of just moving the stuff around on the screen uh, using the HTML and CSS. And we're going to get a nice home page uh, going pretty soon. All right. Um, so I'll be back in a few. All right. Good talking to you. Thanks for watching.